Alright guys, let's go play online on some XCOM Live on my new console. The XCOM 360. Anyways, uh, hey, we're doing a Crash UFO mission and uh, so I'm still going about my same thing. Uh, two kind of newbie-ish uh, people who are leveled up, two veterans and then two complete new people to the team. As I welcome Biggie Tallis and Squishy and also you'll notice we now have laser weaponry, which is really nice. Uh, so we're actually doing pretty good with actually leveling rookies somewhat, um, and these easy missions are going to come to an end eventually, I suppose, so all I need to do is get them really to just above one level and, and we're good, so let's go. XCOM ho! We have visual on the mission. Our target site is near the German border. The downed UFO is in a remote area outside a small town. If we can secure the crash site, we should be able to prevent any civilian casualties. At this point in the game, I'm pretty confident that um, we don't really need a rocketeer or grenade or like dedicated grenader yet. Um, Come in, HQ. Big Sky has reached the outer marker. Approaching the crash site now. Strike team is awaiting your orders. Affirmative, Big Sky. Strike one is free to engage hostile targets at the crash site. All right, well, um, so the plan here, I think, is, well, now that we have laser weapons, we can actually reliably take down the drones. Uh, one of my biggest problems before was that to take down drones, I just had, like, a big fucking hissy fit every fucking time. Okay. Uh, all right, sniper can go, I guess, dash over there. So, since we have laser weapons, they confer, like, a, an aim bonus, so we're, we're good now for that. And we also have the grenades, just in case. So, yeah, I don't know. Oh, hunker. I, I, it doesn't even need to hunker down, really. So, we want to just take this high ground and kind of come up the left side here, actually. And our... That's definitely a floater. I can detect floaters from a mile away. And my sniper will be the one to... Well, no, actually, the sniper will do nothing. Confirmed. Closing on target position now. I, I might as well just sprint these people up. Uh, at this point, we're not going to actually activate anyone else, and that's famous Moving last words, I know, forward. but still. I mean, I moved my scout up there. That is the only risky kind of move, because I think... I, no, actually, I'm... Oh, well, yeah, I'm just one tile ahead, so... So this is a good place for my sniper, so the sniper is actually going to stay right there. Uh, we could move up, and I actually, I think I don't mind that cover there, but I'll think about it. I uh, know, I, I want to let my, uh, how, how, how much further until we see this side of this map? Or are we even going to see this side of the map? I think I'm actually approaching it, yeah, I think the UFO's, yeah, no, that's not the UFO, that's the side of the map there. Uh, we started like, I don't know, this is a really large map, so th this is awkward. Affirmative. Alright. Yes, sir. Oh god, no, don't go up there. Alright. Because we know where the closest aliens are are, are to us, so kind of wanted to be more careful, but I, I, I suppose that cover isn't the worst. I've got my eyes on. Uh, is there a better place for the sniper to be, though, is the question. Probably behind this rock, actually. Look at that. I oh, sorry, this tree. I like this tree here. That's better, because if she starts getting, like, they start coming from here, and then they can see her, then I have to move her. But this works out much better. Alright. Uh, well, we smell the meld that way, so you know what? We are going to go head up that way. Already there. Uh, and... Come on, I want to move this person. Thank you. All right, and the gunner will just take the side here, and steady aim, and everyone else overwatches. What was that sound? Yeah, it seems pretty good to me to just kind of uh, go in on them over here. Then, I mean, we have a little bit of like uh, it's a shame that rock is not like full cover for me there. So, At the, oh UFO, hello. That's a little bit different. Um. What's a better approach, then, than this? Aye, aye. I really don't have any ideas, I'll be honest. Got it. Moving. 
I'm, I'm trying to think of a better place to approach from, but I really don't have an idea. I mean, there, here there's a couple of stones that are kind of higher than this, but... I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll play it by ear, I guess, and see. I, I honestly think there's just like... A shit to, uh, there's like a shitload of half cover all over this map. Um, so if we if we progress into there, we are definitely going to activate uh, the outsider there, and my sniper may not get a shot. Um, I have to think about this. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of full cover there, so maybe maybe we'll maybe we'll da go that way instead. Actually. Back off. Yeah, okay, that's what we're gonna do. I prefer that side. Sorry, fellas. Yes, sir. Uh our gunner can get ready. Well gunner can go over there. And our infantry go right there. The sniper I think can just stay for the time being. The sniper has that luxury. Yeah, we know they're inside there. Well, apparently fuck the meld this mission, I guess. Because I don't see it, and I think the only way I'm going to trigger it is by going really close to them. Uh, well, let's see. If I go here, we'll probably activate him. No, we won't. That's a good thing. Target confirmed. On our way. We can, we can actually dash there, and then we can kind of... No, 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 don't go there. Okay, good. <laughs> He, he went there, but uh, he didn't activate them. Okay, this time we're going to play this a little bit more carefully. As in, go right here. Got it covered. Alright, this now means the sniper does have to move up, unfortunately. Because there's no way the sniper's getting a shot back here. Uh, which means we're going to have to spend a couple of turns moving up. No, I could just like speed this up. Actually, I, I think I, I was saying like I'm, uh, I'm, s I just pressed something else, and I don't know what that did. All right, where's my sniper? Uh, go right up here. What? It's not the. Oh, there we go. I, I said I'd basically speed it up during parts that nothing is happening, and then I didn't speed it up during parts that where nothing is happening. I think this is sped up. I pressed Alt F11, I don't know what that does. Alright, uh, what's the angle we have here? This is not terrible. So... But the sniper can't get a shot over there. I think honestly over here is better. If I'm, if I'm over here, then then uh, we can kind of get a shot inside the UFO. And my, my plan is to kind of approach from this side. Well, I heard the meld rip, so... Alright, we're gonna start with the, uh, the gunner going now. over here. There we go. Clear to engage. Uh... Alright, we slow down the game again. Uh, we have some opportunities for the rookies to make some kills now. I mean, this is like, quite possibly the easiest thing we could have ever done. I think we're still really sped up. Ah, uh, that's a save button. Wow. Uh, I, I fucked up the camera angle. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to figure out the key I'm supposed to- I think it's F7 is this- yeah, F7 is normal speed, alright. Well, this guy's pretty much dead. So, might as well go kill him. <laughs> Rookie kill. Больше не дернется. Roger that. I'm just going over here to overwatch them, and we're good. 
Oh, and here we go, Overwatch. I didn't activate him, did I? Like, like he, he came to me, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, I was right. Okay. X-rays coming in from the sides. I, I was okay. I was slightly worried that I may have not like done that right. So. Pew. I think I think Biggie Tall's already had a kill. Copy that. I'm all over. Well, let's just bring all the people back into the cover. Oh, seekers. Nice. And a floater. You know, I, I it's not the worst cover I've ever had. And also, like, the, these people are not that bad at aiming, so... You know, I can't ask for much more. Alright. Well, we have some shots to make. Let's see what the sniper has first. 90, 90, 90, 100. Wow. It's, uh... I think the floater is actually like the most, the best thing actually for me to focus on, and I'm gonna get 100% chance to crit, 100% chance to hit. So let's just do that. Just take, just I'm gonna just remove him from the equation. Although I probably should check to see if the gunner had a shot on him. He might. Well, I don't think he did. All right. So the next uh, thing is we need to take out these guys here. Not the best chances to hit, actually. Uh, how are we, how is our grenade situation? Yeah, not good. All right. Yeah, it's to be expected. Ah, Heading to that location. Plan is mostly just to try and take one or two out. Weapons empty. Can't engage. Adjusting sights. Fortunately, my uh, my sprinter here will not be able to sprint. So instead I'm going to try and opportunist them. I mean I can't I can't really help it if like everybody misses their shot and they're this close. But I think we'll be okay. Overwatch and stealth mode. Okay. Mostly now we just need to take his ass out. They're probably going to go after my sniper. The sniper is the most isolated but the sniper is fairly close. open up with the sniper then. Come on. Alright. Well, we need to reload the two laser rifles here. Alright, and this person now needs to overwatch with their second turn. We got lightning reflexes with our scouts, so... I figure I'll go up to, to her and shotgun. 75, yeah, let's give that a shot. They have, they have a lot of armor. Alright, now we overwatch the rest of them. So stealth, they usually come out and they strangle somebody. And in this case, they're going to try and strangle the, the sniper, which is what I guess they would do. Well. Sorry, sniper. And here we have another reaction shot. Oh, there we go. That one was a full critting and everything. Nice. Alright, well, this rookie can come save the day. No chance to crit? Alright. <laughs> like how they're just yelling in French and shit. Copy that. Oh, well, we have a guaranteed grenade right here, I think. Not really, actually. I can't even, I can't even, well, I could kind of get him if I'm like up here or something, but no. Just try and take the 55. Oh, well, it worked anyways. Excellent work. Six All aliens? Complete. That's an abysmal amount of aliens, but the, to be honest, the reason why you're seeing this is because the aliens are actually uh, saving up for another, uh, the next month. Basically, when you see this, they actually, in Long War, they had this kind of AI thing, so... If you saw my previous playthrough, and it was a lot harder All during that first month... As well as this one did. The aliens don't stand a chance. You could call it lucky, because I'm giving action uh, an opportunity to level a lot of people. Um, so, there's that. Uh, but yeah, they're saving up for the next month. It's not just, it's not that 
like I am playing brutal, it is going to be difficult. But they're they're saving up their resources for the next month. All right, so we have um, light them up, covering fire, opportunist, and now we can either get suppression, uh, which allows reaction watch from. Okay, yeah, this is uh, covering fire only works in Overwatch. The so suppression isn't a really good idea. Gunslinger, um, and there's also ranger, which primary weapons do one additional damage. It's honestly, it's a choice between these two. Um, for me, suppression is not. Um, I want to. This is guy is built to be Overwatch, so uh, suppression is a terrible idea to have on him. Now the choice between the gunslinger, so you can get one damage with uh, sidearms and negates the long range accuracy penalty when uh, shooting beyond 14 meters, or we can get plus one damage all the time. So to me, um, oh, sorry, plus one damage was primary weapons. So this is um, the wouldn't count for the pistols. For me, it was a hard. It was actually a difficult choice the first time I did it. Um, I, well, the first time I saw this. This is like the the latest I've gotten to infantry when I've leveled them up, and it's a it's a difficult choice because re realistically it's plus one damage to primary weapons or plus one to damage to sidearms. However, this one also has the uh, bonus of an a long range accuracy penalty is negated. But then I start to think, how often do I really use pistols with my infantry? It's only as a last resort. Normally, I would rather reload them, and especially with some of the perks you get later, you're never really gonna go gunslinger at all. So I'm actually going to choose Ranger here, much to maybe some people's disagreement. Um, just because, as I said, they, they are basically the same, except I use primary weapons more often. Way more often. Because I, I, so far, I don't think I've ever brought a, a pistol up for this guy. I've preferred to Overwatch uh, with one ammo left than I do to just, like, bring up the pistol, fire and then bring out the pistol and then Overwatch. So I just couldn't give half a shit about Gunslinger, to be honest. Um, and here we have either... Uh, light him up or run gun. We're gonna do run and gun with that guy. Uh, oh, and here we have executioner, aggression, or damn good ground. So, do we want to have more critical chance per enemy in sight? I think this doesn't count for Overwatch. I might be wrong, but either, in either case, uh, the most this would do is negate the the, ac the the penalties of squad sight because thirty. Like when you see three enemies, you negate that penalty so you can crit now at the normal rate. Uh, there's also uh, more aim and, and critical chance against targets below 50% health. Uh, you get that, I think, mostly for the aim, but I think for, in this case, plus, one, t plus 10 aim and, and defense uh, against enemies in a, a lower elevation. I always have my sniper in the back, and you notice how I always try and give my sniper elevation, uh, and that's the one I'm going to pick. And then we have another support here. I don't actually know what to pick, so let me just go back to the menu here. And here we got like another a lot of alloys and some flight computers and stuff like that, so that's really nice. Uh, let's let's see what we have in terms of soldiers. How many mechs do we have? One, two, three, four. Okay, we have a lot of soldiers. Yeah, we don't have a lot of engineers, so actually this guy's going to become an engineer. I'm glad I can choose this based upon like not against like aim and stuff because it's too it's too much for me. So we got um, we're, we're, the, the list of rookies here is kind of going down, uh, which is good. It means uh, a lot of these people are just kind of like just getting into the levels here. I'm, I'm eventually going to change it up so maybe we have like one rookie and then like a bunch more like newbie guys. It depends on the mission, to be honest. But anyway, since um, since now we're okay. Uh, oh yeah, we're, we're doing xenobiology now, but I actually want to get alien materials now, so we're changing our research projects. Remember, we don't actually lose the progress on the research project. Um, it's just kind of whatever. Uh, it, it, we'll go back to it, basically. Um, and also, I want to explain something about the satellite uplink block. Um, I've actually looked it up, because uh, someone was telling me about the steam vent, and like I can maybe use it and then reclaim it later, but uh, basically this is how it goes. Um, Apparently the most optimal thing in Long War to have is uh, three satellite uplinks and three satellite nexuses, and that gives you all your things. Because apparently satellite uplinks only give you one satellite, opposed to long, uh, uh, opposed to sorry, vanillas two that would normally give, and nexuses give two, opposed to vanillas four. Uh, but you still get the plus one bonus every time it's linked to something. So we need sixteen satellites and three nexuses and three uplinks is the best. So the Steve Vent is a is a rip. Uh, there's no way I'm using that steam vent. Uh, and I'm basically just going to use the, the, the rest down here for either pow power facilities or other things like that. Uh, and then, like, we're going to have laboratories and then workshops here. So I'm right now waiting for a thermal generator to come up so I can basically build uh, founders and shit. But uh, I think we're basically good. There's nothing else I really want to do here. I just mostly want to change my research. I mean, we're, our laser weapons are just coming out now, which is amazing. 
Yeah, there we go. We got our laser pistols. Commander, we picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. Well, we have another moderate mission in China, uh, so that will be for next time. So take care, everyone. Remember, we will be watching.